Hi everyone, welcome to South County Sports Zone inside the MVTV studio. I'm Gordon Spencer. Spring break means days at the beach, maybe days in the mountain, unless you play a spring sport. Then it's days on the field, like the Boris Baseball Classic. 32 teams, 16 in Northern California, 16 in Southern California, playing for the best in the state. A lot of talent in this tournament, including the top team in California, Jay Serra, hosting eight-time city champion El Camino Real out of Woodland Hills. Top of the first two out walk to Chase Strumpf and Jordan Berg, the pickoff for El Camino Real. Bottom of the first, runner in scoring position, two out, and Colin Townsend strikes out James Terrazas to end the inning for El Camino Real. Top of the second, Jay Serra loads the bases, nobody out, Colton Hector, Singles to left, Lyle Lynn scores. It's one to nothing. Jay Sarah, after bases loaded, walk, made it two to nothing. Royce Lewis singles to right center, and David Libiota scores. It's three to nothing. Jay Sarah. Then Chase Strump with the bases loaded and two out, unclears the bases into the left field corner. All the Lions score. That makes it six to nothing. Jay Sarah and the Lions not done. Lyle Lynn singles to left. Chase Strump at second. Here he comes, rounding third. He will score. Lynn is thrown out at second to end the inning, but it's a seven run, six hit inning for Jay Sarah. Bottom of the third, El Camino Real gets on the board. Eric Yang with a two out RBI, scoring Dane Reed. The Conquistadors down now seven to one. But that was it as Colin Townsend records another strikeout to end any more threat in that inning. Top of the fifth, Davis Wenzel for Jay Serra goes very deep into the late afternoon for Jay Serra. Solo shot makes it eight to one. Lions, top of the sixth now. Jay Serra with an eight to three lead and Andrew Swanson smacks a double. That scores Ethan Racker. It's nine to three Jay Serra. Seems like a blowout because Jay Serra is cruising and Colin Townsend doing it all, including starting the double play. Townsend back to Strumpf over to Matt Manscar and that ends it. But wait a minute, that's just two outs. That wakes up the El Camino, El Camino Real offense. Jacob Ward singles, Matt Casson in. It's 10 to four. Then Jay Serra changes pitchers. Connor Tope is hit with a two RBI double by Justin Katona. That is over the head. That makes it 10 to six. Jay Serra hanging on now, a four run lead. Jay Serra brings in pitcher number three, Cole Samuels. He gives up a two run double to Jake Bear. They keep on scoring. It's now 10 to eight. El Camino Real down by just two after trailing seven and nothing. Five runs after two outs. Bottom of the seventh though, Lyle Lynn comes in to get the winning run at the plate. He does that with the ground out. And Jay Serra holds on to win in the semifinal of the Boris Classic by a score of 10 to eight. Non-league softball, Dana Hills out of the South Coast League, Tribuco Hills out of the Seaview League. Dana Hills, top 25 team in the county. Top of the first, Dana Hills with runners at first and third. Frankie Tago launches it to center, to the fence. Two runs score for Dana Hills. Sammy Williams and Haley Hakletube score. It's 2-0. Dana Hills not done, up 3-0 now. Sophomore Cosette Zock to left field. Jesse Nagel scores. That makes it four to nothing, Dana Hills. Tribuco Hills, nice defense to end it finally. Danielle Stallings to Keely McLaughlin, the double play. Four nothing, Dana Hills after one. Top of two, Dana Hills offense at it again. A triple to right. Sammy Williams all the way chugging around to third. And then it's Haley Hakletube, the lefty. She goes to right, Williams scores. That makes it five to nothing, Dana Hills. Bottom of the second, Dana Hills cruising from the circle. Seraphine Parrish, six strikeouts in two innings. Top of the third, Dana Hills runner at second, two outs. Merrill Reinhardt, the single, drives in Kazet Zock. Six nothing, Dana Hills. Back to Parrish in the circle for Dana Hills. Nine strikeouts in three innings. Do the math. Top of the fourth, 
Nobody out for Dana Hills. Frankie Tago. She rips one to right center. Haley Hakletube scores. It is seven to nothing. Dana Hills. Two outs now. Second and third for Mia Onesto. She singles to right. Tago comes in to score. Eight to nothing. Dana Hills. Top of the seventh. Dana Hills one on one out for Hakletube. Just out of reach of the right fielder. The ball under the fence. Ground rule double. Williams scores. It's ten to nothing. Dana Hills. And then it's Tago again, another RBI. She had three hits in the game. Dana Hill's up 11 to nothing. Last chance for Tribuco Hills, bottom of the seventh. And Parrish gets the grounder and the force out. And the Dana Hills Dolphins win the non-league matchup over Tribuco Hills by a final score of 11 to nothing. Seraphine Parrish, the win. She had 15 strikeouts, 21 hits. For Dana Hills, Haley Hakletube, 5 for 5 with two runs batted in. Dana Hills tuning up for the rest of the season. They will play Mission Viejo on the 12th of April and then Open League on April 19th. We're going to step aside, take a break. When we come back, girls league lacrosse and boys golf when the South County Sports Zone rolls on. The greatest thrills and excitement are awaiting you right in your own backyard. The CIF Southern Section and your SoCal Ford dealers encourage you to go to a game at your local high school. Unbelievable action is right in your community. You'll be amazed at what you've been missing. Supporting your local school has never been more fun. Go to a game this week. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to South County Sports Zone. The sport of lacrosse continues to grow in popularity. The Tesoro Titans field three girls teams, 62 total players, and are a top 10 varsity team. The Titans, number eight in Orange County, hosting the San Clemente Tritons in a South Coast League matchup. San Clemente 0-2, Tesoro 3-0. Tesoro just one league win in 2015. They have really turned things around. First half, two minutes in, San Clemente strikes first. Kylie Buckley from around back and the goal, she makes it one to nothing, Tritons. Two to nothing now, San Clemente, when Tesoro gets on the board, Caitlin Martinez to Hannah Maurer. Tesoro trails two to one. Tesoro looking for the tie on the penalty shot by Christiana Molika, but she's stopped by San Clemente goalie, Andrea Apadaka to keep it two to one, San Clemente. San Clemente on and second penalty shot, makes it count. Shea Heft, three one, San Clemente. Then with Tesoro a player down, San Clemente tries to take advantage. Tess Jonas shot saved by Leah Olson. Keeps it three to one. Then Tesoro on the penalty shot. Hope Goddard lining up. And she scores. Tesoro down now just three two. Then just over a minute to go in the half. Martinez to Charlotte Hess on the move. 3-3 tie at the half. And Tesoro talking about it. Head coach Dave Rose, the number eight team in Orange County. Second half, it's Kylie Buckley again for San Clemente. And it's 4-3 Tritons. 5-3 now San Clemente. When the Tesoro combo of Hess to Martinez makes it a one-goal game. 5-4 San Clemente. Eight minutes to go in the game. When Tesoro ties it back up. Bryn Peak to Caitlin Martinez, to Charlotte Hess, and it's tied at five all. Then the quick goal by Tesoro's Alexa Catanzariti, and the Tesoro Titans lead once in the game when it counted at the end. And they defeat San Clemente, tough break for San Clemente. They lose it six to five to stay perfect in league at four and oh, 10 and one overall. Boys golf at El Niguel Country Club. CV League match, San Juan Hills 2-1. Aliso 0-3. Back-to-back days these two teams meet up. San Juan Hills won the first day by 12 strokes. San Juan Hills' Karan Batia, the junior teeing off on one. Then his teammate Max Wittes mersing The senior drives it. Aliso Niguel's Adam Chan, the freshman lefty over the water. And then Aliso junior Jack Myers off the first tee. 
On to the second shot for San Juan Hills, Max Wittes Mersing on the 374-yard first hole. He rolls it on. That sets up the birdie. And then Aliso's Adam Chan for a par. A long putt and uh, just goes past the hole. He would bogey. Hole number one. San Juan Hills, Max Wittes Mersing for the birdie. 25-footer goes down. And Max Wittes Mersing wins the first hole. Second hole, 497 yard par five. Adam Chan, dog leg right. That will set up nicely. Then Max Wittes Mersing tees off number two. Nice shot going right, just where you want to be. Now, Adam Chan had to drop out of the water, so on his fifth shot, he drops it on the green. Nice spot for the bogey setup. This is Max for par. He gets the break, but it's just too late. He would bogey number two. Back to Chan for the bogey on two, and he gets it. To hole number three, 376 yard par four. Jack Myers of Aliso, a booming shot. Then San Juan Hills, Karan Batia, a strong drive. He would have a very strong hole. Be easy tap in for par. That's how easy it was. Then. He and Max both would par the hole. There's Max dropping in the par putt. Aliso's Jack Myers taps this one in for the bogey. To the second group, Aliso's Alex Fidecki, the senior on the fifth hole, 174-yard par three. Look at this shot off the tee. Just a couple of feet from the hole. And he taps in the birdie on number five. And that helped the Aliso Niguel Wolverines get the win after losing the day before. The final score 206 to 218. Fideki winning the day, one over par 37 for Aliso Niguel. But Max Wittes Mersing was the medalist at par of a 36. So a big win for the Aliso Niguel Wolverines boys golf team getting their first league win. They will finish up league on April 21st, hosting Laguna Hills. That's going to wrap things up for South County Sports Zone. Don't forget cityofalisoviejo.com and missionviejolife.org for all of the episodes. I'm Gordon Spencer. Thanks for watching.